action. Elephant. <clears throat> hey, it's Thursday the 6th of August 2009. I'm driving down to Sydney. I've got a band rehearsal with Elephant tonight. And after rehearsal, I pick up Mandy and Sarah. And then tomorrow morning we head for Melbourne. I'm going down to Melbourne to record with Elephant which is a blast to be um, already heading on the road to record with this band that I haven't mentioned to any of you yet um, because I have enough freaking projects on the make as it is. Amanda, where's your magical unicorn? I, um, I gave him back after a week and now he's bad-mouthing me to the gay community. Sarah, where is your Yeti? Um, it's not my knee, remember? It's only really small. Personally, I have an amputated Yeti. It has lovely fur. Uh, when and saw the Sydney premiere of Inglorious Bastards the other night with Quentin Tarantino. How insane to be in the same fucking cinema as Quentin Tarantino. I got to walk the red carpet in front of all the cameras and all that jizzy jazz. It was hilarious. How whack. The fucking film was brilliant. Tarantino's funniest to date. Easy. Where are we? Um, we're on our way to Holbrook. We're on our way to Holbrook. Well, there you have it. That. Pardon? Oh, my God. Copyright infringement. What? You, can, you can't use music on YouTube unless you have the rights. You can get like sued and shit. Where's your right? I make my own rights. All right, well, that's fine then. Copyright infringement! Um, we had rehearsal last night. It was grouse. I was going to videotape some of it, and I forgot. So... Eat a Yeti dick. As you know, um, you spend a lot of time with my father. Probably a lot more time than I actually spent with my father. And he passed away tragically before he was able to tell me about how people make babies. Understand that he taught you a thing or two about about the birds and the bees, and I was hoping that you could relay my father's words of wisdom to me. Um, how did he first broach the subject of the birds and the bees again? Bubbles. A chip. How, how, how did bubbles help? Funny. Funny. That bubbles was funny, or what? What, what did bubbles do? Monkey. Obviously, I've been a fantastic influence on your life. Uh, perhaps not as much as Black Flag, you, you suck hole. Um, <laughs> but, um, boob on shoulder, boob on shoulder, boob on shoulder, boob on shoulder. Uh, it's Saturday morning. I'm driving to Croydon to record. Uh, we got into the city probably around 6 o'clock last night. Uh, went and got a heap of fucking food from Lord of the Fries straight up. Then went and chugged a heap of beers at uh, the Young and Jackson, the pub across the road from Flinders Street Station. Hooked up with Dan and Amy. The Elephant Boys came in. Um, Elise and Phil. Elise is going to record us today. We're tracking it. Which is to my preference. I'm, uh, when it comes to live recording in the studio or tracking, I much prefer to uh, dump my own tracks in my own damn time as many times as I deem fit. So um, I'll knock up some um, footage once we hit the studio.
test. You won't find me in all of the elegant confinements here in the circus. Talk history. <laughs> <laughs> You feel positive about your work, Troy? No. <laughs> we can't do it again. I know. And I can never have this conversation again. I can't go back on... It's the rules. It is the rules. I don't like the rules. But you follow them. I have to. That's what men do. Well, they're known to have a slender rig. What the fuck does that mean? It is Monday and we're back. Recording was ace. We went to the Shanghai Lounge that, no that night in Melbourne City and perhaps had the greatest time ever on earth that anyone's ever had. Because by the end of it, Dan was a monkey and I was a lizard under a chair. And if that doesn't sum it up, I don't know what does. Yesterday I went and saw the Salvador Dali uh, exhibition at the State Gallery of Victoria, which was awesome, which was brilliant. So much Dali work, hundreds of etchings, drawings, paintings, sculptures. It was beautiful. Then more art, we went and saw Len Lai, who was an artist from the 20s, 40s, 50s, and he made films, abstract films, and also sur oh, surrealist films and surrealist sculptures that make sound and interact with um, the space and it's all lots of very good things art-wise. <laughs> and have you ever contemplated trying to eat 125 kilometers of dick? It's not pleasurable. No. I don't care how dick hungry you are. It's long and arduous. It's a long and arduous task to eat 125 kilometers of dick. Elephant. <clears throat> dick. Elephant. <clears throat> dick. Elephant. <clears throat> dick. <clears throat> <clears throat> 